Wow, thanks, Dr. Francis Miles. Boy, am I happy uh, to be doing our final uh, prayer marathon broadcast for the year 2023. Boy, has it been an amazing year. We have seen signs and wonders. We've seen God do all kinds of miracles. We've had two massive crusades uh, because 2023 became the year we also launched our crusade ministry. My God, there's been so many things. We, we've grown on YouTube. We've grown on Facebook. I thank you for all my partners, my friends, those that just love what God is saying through us. I love you and I appreciate you so very much in Jesus' mother name. Praise God. We have much to talk about today. You know, but I just want to just recognize those that I that are joining us from around the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Okay. Kathy from Spring Hill, Texas. God bless you. Uh, God, Spring, Texas, God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, my God, amen. New wine. Uh, and you, praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, Botswana is in the house. Kabe, Kalebogile, Botswana. God bless you. Uh, welcome to uh, the last uh, prayer marathon for 2023. James. Oh, always faithful James from Nairobi, Kenya. I love your first lady. Amen. Hallelujah. KGC from Ohio. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. My God, somebody from Zambia. Look at that. Blessed hands. God bless you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Asam Kelo from the UK. God bless you. Dr. Miles, I'm excited to see you. I do know that you are with us. Uh, from Mark K. K. Looks at K. Thompson from Aqueth, Georgia. That's where my, my dentist is, by the way, and my dear brother. I love them. Bonolo, uh, greeting from Kimberley, South Africa. Where, amen. Send me some diamonds. Come on now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look at that. Praise Jesus. We thank God. Amen. Abra Morgan from the UK. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, Joshua, Angel Miles, India. God bless you. God bless you. Look at that. Who's that? Michigan, Maria. From Michigan. Michigan is in the house. God bless you. Uh, Kankunda from Uganda. I just came back from Uganda. We had a powerful time of the God encounter in my first time in Uganda. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Ruth from Temple, Texas. I love Texas. I'm coming to Texas in July. I'm with Katie Souza. Mercy from the UK and Birmingham to be specific. I think that's where Chipo now is. One of our producers is now in Birmingham. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at the Lord. Dominique from Michigan. God bless you. God bless you. We are so thankful that you join us. Sabrina from Italy. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, listen, saints, I want you to, uh, Marianne Briganti, my, my, my judge, my, I love that one of the, from Bronx, New York. Daughter, I love you. I miss you. You know, Papa can't, can't wait to see you again, daughter. Amen. Love you. Look at the Sibongile from Eswatini. God bless you. Hallelujah. My God, what a God we serve. What a God we serve. Well, listen, saints, uh, I, I mean, I welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to our last prayer marathon. This prayer marathon, by the way, in the comment section, if you have been enjoying these prayer marathons, please write in your own words how much you've enjoyed it. Just encourage the man of God. Should I continue? Should I stop? Should I continue them in 2024? So in the comment section, please write, type how you've been feel, how you feel, your own words, two, three words, five words, whatever, how you feel about the prayer marathons we do, uh, we do on this in this ministry on a weekly basis. Amen. Let me know if they're helping you, if they're empowering you. Just write down in the comment section. I want to see what your response to the prayer marathon has been. But today, of course, look at that. Jackson has just changed my life. Thank you. Amen. I'm sure. Amen. There are many like you. You know, that's how we are doing it. You know, uh, I can level it. I can teach. We have amazing teachings on our YouTube channel. But I tell you, you know, uh, we people need prayer. We are living in very in days where people really need to know, okay, the mouse is coming once a week or twice a week. And I know somewhere in the praying of the man of God, I'll be located. My need will be located and there will be a miracle. That is amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. That's exciting to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some say continue uh, in 2024. Look at that. Look at that. Amen. What a God we serve. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, saints, listen. You know, um, I want you to please like and share. Please to like and share this uh, broadcast with as many people as you can uh, because we want to touch lives. Uh, you make this share your Christmas present, one of your Christmas presents. I mean, one of your Christmas presents. Trust me, you buy somebody's shoe, a sneaker, a Nike, that's great. But my God, you give them an anointing, an anointed uh, message and teaching and prayers on breaking the speed of delay. Uh, my God, listen to me. They would rather have that than a Nike shoe. They'd rather have that than, than, than a Gucci, you know? And so make sharing this feed part of your Christmas celebration, your Hanukkah celebration with somebody that you love in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. So again, uh, 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 like it, subscribe, and share. Now, uh, uh, while we have the prison, I'd like you to sub, uh, uh, subscribe on it. And let's keep it there, Miss Director, please. Okay, while we, are, while we are on that subject, what I want to do is I want to ask you to give Dr. Miles and Camilla and this ministry, Friends of Miles International, a God bless you Christmas gift. Let me tell you what my Christmas gift is. I'm looking for my Christmas or Hanukkah blessing. Okay, what is it? Right now, we are standing at 94,000 subscribers. We've got nine days before the end of 2023. I want to ask you for a nine-day nine challenge in which you are going to, I want a thousand of you. If a thousand of my followers, just a thousand of you, you know, or if you are listening to this uh, YouTube uh, prayer marathon and you have been blessed by it, I'm asking you to do one, only one thing. You know, that you tell 10 people just 10 people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. What you meet 10 people, ask them to open up their phone and say, go to YouTube. I know you're going to like it, you know, and look and then tell them to, to, to type in at Dr. Francis Miles in the search engine uh, of, 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 of YouTube, you know, and, uh, and uh, to, once they find my, my, they find my uh, channel, please tell them to subscribe, okay? Subscribe. It does not cost them anything, you know, not one dollar, nothing, but it will change their life. So, in other words, be a, be, be a YouTube evangelist for me for the next nine days. I'm asking for a thousand. I'm believing God. I'm asking and I'm believing God for a thousand of people to be so blessed that they won't consider it a big deal to evangelize 10 people whom they know will be blessed to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My Christmas present or my Hanukkah blessing that you can give me is to get me to 100,000 people by the end of the month. Can we do it? I know we can. If, I mean, if you are listening to me, I mean, is, you know, I, I'm sure you're thinking, this, that's not a big deal to the mouth. The way you have blessed me, the way this prayer marathon are blessing me, talking to 10 people who have got a cell phone, I mean, I mean, until hey, just open up your cell phone right now, find, open up the YouTube app. I want you to go to Type in the search at Dr. Francis Mouse and subscribe to, you know, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'm telling you, if you can do that, if you can do that, I can tell you by the Spirit of the Lord that we will make a, uh, we, are gonna, we are going to make a difference. We are going to get to that uh, proverbial 10,000, 100,000 people that we are believing is our Christmas present from God's people. You know, so go to go to YouTube, you know, ask people, ask what people, uh, um, I mean, ask what, ask your friends, you know, to go to YouTube, amen. You know, as a matter of fact, while you are right there, so you can monitor the progress, amen. Ask your friends to go to YouTube, you know, and type in, type in a Dr. Francis Mouse and then subscribe. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, so I want that. You know, just do that. Watch God move by His Spirit. Amen. Just type in at Dr. Francis Mouse. You know, and I'm telling you, if you do that, you know, the Lord is going to help us. He's going to help us in an amazing way in Jesus. So I'm asking for a thousand people. That's a thousand people challenge. You know, and this is, consider this one of your offerings to the Lord and to the ministry. 
Amen. So by the way, uh, in the comment section, those who are hearing me, those who love me and follow this ministry, if you are saying you're gonna do, you're gonna say the mouth. If you are, if you're gonna be part of that of that uh, uh, supernatural one thousand people, I want you just to type in the words, Doctor Mouse, count me in. You know, just type in the comment section, Doctor Mouse, count me in. That means you are saying I'm going between now. In the next nine days, I'm gonna talk to ten people. I'm gonna ask them to open their cell phones. And I'm going to be asking them because they love me and because I know I'm giving them amazing blessing. You know, uh, I'm going to ask him, I'm going to ask my friends uh, to open up their, their, their cell phone to YouTube, you know, you know, and they are going to subscribe to Francis Mao's International and they'll be blessed and how to fulfill my challenge. If you're one of those people, Please uh, write in the comments. I want to hear you. I want to be blessed as you do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Let's throw them in the board, those that are saying that by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. I know there are many people that love, Frank, that love Dr. Miles. Amen. And this ministry. So thank you, Brenda. Dr. Miles, count me in. Amen. Thank you. You know, you know. So the mouse count me in. Look at, look, at, look, at that. look at that. How many people are saying that now? Come on, keep showing them up. Those, I, mean, I want to see as many people who are saying it. Susie Barbosa. Wow, look at that. Mm, wow, look at that. I love that. Amen. Mandy says, Amen. Gabby, count me in. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow, look at that. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Marianne Briganti. Love you, woman of God. Wow. 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 Mm. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just remember, in the kingdom, what you make happen for another, God will give you a miracle in a different area where God will raise people to do amazing things for you, you know, but it's because it began with you doing it for Dr. Miles. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Well, listen. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so excited. People, yeah. So there we're going to put it on there. What to do? That's very simple. You know, and, uh, you know, and then subscribe. You know, you know, be among the company of 1,000 people, 1,000 evangelists, a YouTube evangelist for Francis Mouse. We're going to take the next nine days. That's nine days. That's a long time you, for you to just take to 10 people. Some of you can even double that, treble that, because I would like to be able, I would like on December 31st when we're going to have our New Year's Eve service. So right now, I want to talk about our New, Eve, New Year's Eve service right now, Miss Director, and then let's bring up that, because I want to invite many of you before I begin to pray and break in the spirit of delay and release the spirit of speed over your life. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So, saints, listen. This end of year, we are doing one of the most anointed New Year's Eve service I've ever done. So, join Dr. Miles for the New Year's Eve crossover service, uh, where I'm going to be dealing with what God showed me about 2024, where He showed me very clearly that 2024 is going to be the year of manifesting priesthood. It's going to be the year of manifesting your priesthood, to be more exact, your priesthood. It's going to be a year of manifesting your priesthood. That means that in 2024, you are going to go deeper with God than you have ever gone before. I'm going to be listening and anointing from the Lord over your life on that day. It's December 31st, it's going to start at 11 p.m. with worship and testimonies. It's going to be, an amazing, it's going to be a lot of fun for my followers in Southern Africa. It will be 6 a.m. So you get a double blessing of uh, attending uh, I, I, uh, African crossover services. But at the same time, six hours later, you can join me and uh, in our uh, Holy Ghost crossover, our New Year's Eve crossover service, where we'll be dealing with the issue of the manifesting your priesthood and what that means financially, spiritually, uh, and most importantly, in your intimacy with God. Now, registration is required because it's going to be on Zoom. Registration is required 
probably on Zoom. I'm hoping to get a thousand of you to show up. You know, my Zoom platform can contain a thousand people who are going to join us. So you go at, you simply go to events, www.events.francismouse.com and click on the flyer and it will lead you to register. It's all free. It's no charge at all. You just have to, you just have to reserve your seat in the Zoom, in the, in the Zoom, in the Zoom theater. Okay. So you can join us by the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing. I'll be prophesying. I'll be praying. I'll be releasing impartations. I may have one or two prophets that are going to be with us on that. Who are powerful prophets. who are going to be with us. It's going to be an amazing course of our service. So join me by the Holy Spirit. So I'm inviting my YouTubers, my Facebook people. Amen. Uh, you'll receive an email reminder uh, uh, before the course of our service, just in case you, 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 you forget that. You know, uh, I, I, I know God's gonna make you. It's gonna make. It's gonna. It's gonna make you make it because you will not regret it for two minutes that you came to the New Year's crossover service. That that. But I'm so excited. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Well, listen, we want to talk about approaching the evil author of delay. Now, the reason I teach a little bit about it is because faith faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay, it comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I have found that if the devil cannot stop your destiny, you just delay it. Okay, and many of you, you are weary, you are you are you are frustrated because another year has come for some of you, and nothing really happening concerning issues of destiny. The devil is the liar. I'm here to tell you that God is going to turn this around. You know, there's an anointing today from the Holy Spirit to destroy the evil altar of delay. Okay, the evil author of delay, the spirits of delay, the messengers of the delay, even human messengers that have been assigned to your life to do nothing but cause delay are about to be removed. Don't cry for everybody because some of the people God is going to remove in 2024 for your life are were nothing but champions of delay. Like Lot was a massive delay on the destiny of Abraham, you know, but. As soon as God separated Lot from Abraham, God began to speak to Abraham about his inheritance. You know, so I'm telling you that delay is about to come to an end and there's a spirit of speed. It won't be put in the things around you. God's going to put it on you. So you need to listen to what I'm going to be saying. So I'm going to take about just 10 minutes. You know, I don't want to take too long. 10 minutes just to giving you a biblical understanding of this demonic technology, okay, and what it does to people, and God's answer to delay. Everything, God has an antidote to everything Satan does. Satan is the poison, the kingdom of God is the antidote, okay? So the, the, the evil author of delay, you know, he, you know, he has an agenda, which is to hinder delay, uh, what God has called you to do, because Satan understands that destiny and purpose are measured in the currency of time. You can't be, none of us are going to be here. And unless Yeshua, if, if Yeshua tarries another 100 years, all of us, listen, even all of you who are now listening to me, including Ma, will be in heaven. We'll be there. There'll come a time when we'll be too old to be on the earth. Don't want to be here, except especially when you've done your work, you're going to cross over to the other side to be with Jesus and the saints. The point here is this. You're not going to live forever in the flesh, in this body of flesh. It is time sensitive. So your destiny is, is time sensitive. So there are demonic technologies, you know, and, 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 and most importantly, there is an evil altar, you know, that can entrench itself in your bloodline or in your life or in your environment. And all it does is cause delay. It can even mobilize people into your life or relationship that don't build you the accumulative effect is that they end up delaying you even further. But I'm here to tell, I'm here to somebody, the devil is a liar. If I'm locating you, if I'm talking to you, if this message resonates, I want you right now to say to the mouse, you are talking to me. I am tired of the delay. If that is you, you need to write it in the comment section. That is your way of responding and telling the devil, the devil, devil you're not going to hold me with this anymore. Uh, the devil is a liar. I'm about to see a move of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So write it in the comment section. In Jesus' name. As a matter of fact, 
let me let make it make make it even easier to, for everybody. Okay, you can either say you are talking to me, or you can simply put the number one. You can type the number one as a, as your acknowledgement that you are being located. I'm talking to you, and you are excited that God's about to do something. He's about to do something to you in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, Harabakando Bosaka. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to move. I'm telling you. The, I mean, there's a reason why the Lord is spirit. But I mean, we didn't plan it this way. I just, I mean, I just, I, I just think in the other day, oh my God, I can't believe at the last prayer marathon, the last prayer marathon, we didn't plan it this way in 2023 would be the approaching of the evil order of delay. I will really believe it's because in 2024, many of you are about to experience speed you've never experienced before. Time, as you know, it is about to collapse around you. And what you thought would never happen is going to happen to you. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm telling you, you it, it's going to look like time is collapsing around you. But the truth of the matter is that in the spirit world, you are moving so fast that things you thought would never happen to you are happening again because you're catching up to what you thought you lost. That is a level of speed God is about to release over you. Somebody ought to say amen to Jesus. Somebody ought to say amen somewhere. Right now, by the way, you can say it loudly, verbally, and in the comments. Say somebody ought to give God a shout. Say an amen. Because this is your portion that God is about to deliver by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Now, I'm going to give you a scripture for it. Ten minutes of it. Then we're going to begin to pray. Get ready. Get ready because you're going to be going into this Christmas celebration with a spirit of speed over you. Amen. If some of you, even at your Christmas table, you'll be getting testimonies. I'm telling you, you'll be getting testimonies from this prayer marathon. Some of you, 2024, will come with a bang it's never had before. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Now, when I look at Ezekiel, Ezekiel the book of Ezekiel, Book of Ezekiel from chapter 12, chapter 12, from 12, Ezekiel 12, uh, verse 22 to 28, the New King James Version. Whenever you get a chance, I want you to open up your Bible and look at this, but you to blow your mind. This is God talking. His God is unmasking the evil altar of delay because something is happening to the people of God where they become so discouraged because they are, everything they have been believing God for has been delayed so much. So here's what the Bible says, the Son of Man, this is God talking to Ezekiel. Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the, have about the land of Israel? Which says the days are prolonged and every vision fails. Watch this. They were so discouraged from waiting on God that they said, they said, let's go back, please. Amen. Uh, they, uh, uh, they, they were so, they were so delayed. They were so uh, discouraged that they, pro they produced an idiom a proverb that began to manage their expectations, which actually became no zero expectations because they were so traumatized by the delay that they began to say, when every word from the Lord came upon them, I'm going to bless you. Uh, the glory is going to come. I'm going to give you a miracle. Oh, yeah, I know. They began to, they were so traumatized by the delay. They began to push everything God was trying to do in the now into the future. And they began to say, you know what? The days are prolonged and every vision really failed. Look at the next verse, what it says to us. You know, tell them therefore, this is God saying, I'm, I'm telling you, I am Ezekiel, I am Ezekiel today on your behalf. Tell them therefore, such says the Lord God, hallelujah. I will let this proverb to rest. In other words, God is about to uh, is about to bring to rest the spirit of delay. The spirit and the evil author of delay are about to be so damaged, so destroyed. In your life, every cycle, even the psychology of delay, the expectation of delay in your life will be put to rest. Somebody ought to give God a shout for what he's about to do. You, I'll, I will let the proverb to rest. And there shall no more, there shall no more. Use it as a proverb in Israel and let Israel be you. Where there is Israel, put your name. If you are Dorothy, say Dorothy. If you, are, if you are Miles, say Miles. Whatever your name is, put it in there. Okay, put it in there. Tell them, therefore, that says the Lord God, I will let this proverb to rest. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. They will not use it as a proverb in Israel. 
but said to them, but said to them, the days are at hand. The days are at hand. And the, the what? What day? The days are that listen to me. I prophesy to you. I prophesy over you that the days are now here. For what, Dr. Mouse? The fulfillment of every vision and every promise. The fulfillment of every vision and every promise. Oh, I prophesy to you. I prophesy over your life that the days are here. The days are here. So the mouth, when, they, when do these days begin? They begin from the day you heard the mouth of the prophet declared. That's why they, they begin now. The days are now here. For what? The fulfillment of every vision and every promise. In the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to write in the comment section, glory. Just shout glory with text. You know, and put three exclamation marks to it. Glory. Amen. Why? Because that's what God, the days are here. The day, I don't care how long you've waited for that child. I don't care how long you've waited uh, uh, to be married. I don't care. I don't care how much long you've waited to be promoted at your job. The days are here for the fulfillment of every vision. For the fulfillment of every vision. The days are here. The days are here for the fulfillment of every vision. For no more shall there be any false vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. What, 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 what does this mean? It means that the evil author of delay invites the spirit of divination and false prophecy because you are so desperate for God to move on the real thing. You'll take anything that comes. So you become susceptible to flattering divinations, to, to divination. The devil is a liar. I'm here to tell you about the spirit of God. That the evil author of delay is on the chopping block today under the mantle and the oracle of this prophet. Because God has sent me to make this the last uh, uh, prayer marathon of the year in the name of Jesus. If Francis must be a prophet of God, I'm telling you, you are going to see God. I was at the airport, the Zambia, the Kent County International Airport, the airport in my, in my country. And I'm, I'm, I'm being given VIP treatment every time I'm there. But you know why? Because when I was going there a couple of months ago, there, yes, yeah, I was going through uh, there and there was a woman that recognized me. And so she, she didn't care who was around. She worked at the airport. She knelt right in front of me. She didn't care who was looking. I said, man of God, I know who you are. You are Dr. Francis Mouth. I said, yes, I am. He said, man of God, I've worked for the Lord my God. I've worked for this airport for 12 years with an uh, 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 unparalleled faithfulness. And devotion, not one promotion in 12 years dry. Everybody gets promoted, no paper gets promoted. I'm left out. Tears in her eyes. And I laid the hands on her. I said, Be promoted. I promote you in the name of Jesus. Be promoted. That was one o'clock when my flight left. She got a call from my boss at 16 hours or three hours later, 4 p.m. She got a call from my boss and she got promoted, really promoted. To a very, very prestigious, higher, higher, and even what sort of, I mean, it, it changed the side of the airport she works in, and her pay scale was changed. She said, man of God, it happened three hours after you prayed. I prophesy to somebody. I prophesy. The days of delay have come to an end. The days of the of every father in divination, every false vision, false prophecy, it's over. The time for the fulfillment of every vision from God, every promise from God, everything God showed me. Every now, remember the key is if God showed it to you. So I declare right now, I arrest every now every false vision, every everything that came from false prophecy, from fatherly, I release you from that. You don't need that. You, it's a it's it's, it's Satan trying to uh, 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 capture you into nonsense. But I declare everything that you know that you know God spoke to you. Or a prophecy that hasn't come to pass. I'm here as an oracle of Jehovah to let you know the, the time of fulfillment has come. Look at verse 25, what God says to these people. For I am the Lord, I speak. For I, why does well, I am the Lord? Today is the day he says to you, I am the Lord. Don't try to tell me your history, but I, 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 you know, don't be like the woman, the, the man just asked at who, who was at the pool of pool of Siloam. 
had been there for 38 years. I know it's a long time. You, I mean, it can traumatize you to be sick that long, you know. And when Jesus came, do you, do you want to be made well? He began to give Jesus a long history. I've been here for 38 years. Every I oh, no, do you want to be healed? For I, the Lord, I speak. And the word I speak now in this Kairos moment will come to pass. Just receive it. I was just in Uganda. I told a woman you'll be promoted. Uganda. That was on Sunday. Monday I got a text. She got promoted. She was she came to a conference in Uganda, but she, in Gabon, she lives in Gabon. 24 hours. Bam. God did it. That's where my faith is. That's the office I'm carrying. It will no more be postponed. It will no more be delayed. It will be no more postponed, no more delayed. For in your days, right now, in your days, right now. Then it says, all Liberia's house. See, the spirit of delay attracts the spirit of rebellion. Yeah, because it, does, it turns believers into pessimists. It turns believers into doubt, doubt, doubting Thomases. Ah, it's not going to happen. Ah, I've heard that before. Ah. And before you know it, you begin to disobey the now word of the Lord, the Kairos moment of the Lord, and you miss your hour of visitation. I will say the word, he says, and perform it. Grab that. As if Jesus was in front of you, writing on a piece of paper in his blood. I will say the word and perform it, saith the Lord. Look at what it says next. Again, the word of the Lord said, came to me saying, when God repeats himself, he's serious. God is repeating himself to you today because he wants you to know. I've seen your tears, I've seen your cries, but now your rejoicing season has arrived. When we pray, you'll see what God's going to begin to do. Son of man, look, the house of Israel is saying, the vision that he, say, he says is for many days from now. In other words, oh yeah, we've heard what he said, but it's for many years from now. We don't even think about what's going to happen right now. God will give you a car. Oh no, it might happen in 10 years. Ah, it might happen. God will give you a house. Oh, it might. God will give you a husband. Oh, you know what? It might happen in five years or 10 years, 20 years. Who knows? And then concerning me as a prophet, he prophesies of times far off. Oh, Dr. Miles, I bind that spirit that's talking to you right I command that lying spirit. Go! It's, you know, you lying spirit. That they, are, they have waited. Now the God they have waited on has arrived and is going to quicken every word. 28, verse 28 says, Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, None of my words will be postponed. Somebody write down in the comment section, none of my words will be postponed. Just write that, that just write that, and then possess it. Write in the comment section, and then possess it. None of my words will be postponed anymore. Write down those words. None of my words will be postponed anymore, and put an exclamation mark, and then receive it, eat it, like, oh my God, this is my blank, this is, this is my blank check from God. But the word which I will speak will be done, saith the Lord. By the word which I will speak will be done. Oh my God, a gallbladder, a gallbladder just got healed. Somebody with a serious problem with the gallbladder is just got healed. Oh, just got healed. There is a lot of heat around your stomach area right now, a lot of heat. Anointing has just come upon you. There will be no more postponement of the healing of your gallbladder. If, it, if I'm locating you by the word of knowledge, write down, Dr. Miles, it's me. It's me. I just saw a gallbladder being healed, very powerfully being healed. Hello, you could, sometimes you could hardly even go to sleep. You, you know, you'd have to be very careful how you slept. You have to sleep on your back because sometimes you, oh, oh my God. But your bladder is just being healed. Gallbladder is being healed. Wow. Saints, listen. 
I want to take this demonic entity and evil out in the courts of heaven and prosecute it with you and for you. And then we are going to begin to break down every demonic infrastructure of delay around you. Every spiritual climate of delay will be destroyed. Every agent of delay will be, will be annihilated. You know, uh, I, I, I want to begin to do that. But before I do that, I want to I wanna just invite you to join our ever-growing online community of Francis Mouse Church Online. So get ready after this announcement. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about our, I'm going to be talking about our, how God can destroy the speed of delay. But until then, I want to just invite you because one of the commitments God has made me make, I want to hear what God, what God has done with me. The Lord has made me make a commitment to give a, to give a lot of my time to my friends to building Francis Mouse Church online. We are, it's a growing community, but because of the business of my schedule, uh, there's been times I've not been able to make it, but I've anointed people, but we meet every Shabbat at 10, I know, every Shabbat. If you simply take your QR code or go to, you know, QR code, my God. You can register for Francis Mouth Church online. As a matter of fact, you know, because what we want to do is we want to make sure, we want to make sure that you join us for every service that we have. We meet every 10 a.m., every 10 a.m., every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we meet. We meet then, okay? We meet then, okay? And then uh, when we meet then, uh, we have a very, 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 very powerful time. Okay, uh, you can simply create a free account uh, on FrancisMarchChurchOnline.com. You know, and we we'll, this is where we'll be putting many of the messages. I'll be preaching. I'll be preaching to the church that will never ever appear. Will never ever appear on on. Uh, will never ever appear on uh, on 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 YouTube. Okay, so this will be an exclusive community where I, I come and I bring the word of the Lord to the people of God. So again, I'm asking, you know, that you, you know, you come and just join us, you know, and just join us on these powerful times of the God encounter because God is going to be moving mightily every Shabbat service, every Saturday. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be, yeah, these are the Zoom credentials as well. I'm going to put some of the Zoom credentials. Those are the Zoom credentials that we use every Saturday, okay? So I'm putting them on the screen uh, because I want you to take a picture of the screen on your phone. Now you have it. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do two services. So you get to choose which one you want to come to, the 10 a.m. service or the 5 p.m. Uh, service. You know, but just understand what type of, just know where you are. For those who are in Africa, like Southern Africa, it's seven hours, we are seven hours ahead. So you know what that time it is. For people in London, it might be six hours ahead. So just find out what time zone it is. But I know in the US, it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And those are the Zoom Zoom ID. They never change. They, we use them every service, every Shabbat. So tomorrow, you know, tomorrow get ready, okay? Tomorrow we're going to have that service at 10 a.m., you know, with a powerful word from the Lord. But again, I want you to join, pray about it. Maybe you are you're already part of a church, but you are looking for supplemental uh, deep dive revelation that, that Dr. Mouse gives. Or maybe you, maybe you, 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 you are in an area or you are going to a church where Nothing is really going on. The messages are, are wishy-washy, so user-friendly. It's no longer feeds you. And you want to be part of an online community where you can see me, you can laugh with me, we can talk, you can meet other people. Then this is your what you need to do. So join us uh, for Francis Mouse Church Online. Uh, we're going to be very aggressive in 2024. 20, uh, we'll be having a lot of members-only meetings. We're going to be having... A lot of members only counseling sessions. 
We're going to be having, uh, we're going to be raising leaders and uh, leaders will become deacons and become elders within virtual spurs. And we will appoint some people to be leaders over different regions, depending on how many people we have in that region. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun by the Spirit of the Lord. We're going to have a church directory so that if you're in any area where there are members of our church, you want to connect with them, you have a way of connecting with them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, with that said, I want to go now to, I want to pray for you. So get ready. I want to pray for you right now. Yes, we, again, we're going to go in the court of heaven before we deal with this spirit. Why do we, I do the court of heaven? Because I want to remove the devil's legal rights for causing delay in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, amen. I wanted to pray this prayer after me and those who are in the studio, if you can help me out so people can follow along in Jesus' name. Say, Heavenly Father and righteous judge, Father, by faith in the finished work of Jesus, I step into the court of heaven by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Righteous judge, righteous judge. I, petition you, Lord, I petition you, Lord, for a judgment, for a judgment, a, a, a judgment against the evil author of delay. And any demonic entities that are operating from this evil altar to cause delay, 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 will come to an end because I've appealed to the courts of heaven. Righteous judge, I petition you in Jesus' mighty name to cause the blood of Jesus to silence. To cause the blood of Jesus to silence the evil altar of delay and any other altar that is speaking against me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I repent for any iniquity or transgression that my forefathers. Or, or that I'm guilty of, that, I'm guilty of that, has that has given the devil any legal right to cause delay to, cause delay to, be, a, a to be a permanent or a lingering atmosphere, or a lingering atmosphere in, my in my life. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father let the blood of Jesus speak for me let the blood of Jesus speak and my bloodline. And my bloodline. I, say, Lord, I say, Lord, I will not be punished. I will not be for, the sins of my for the sins of my forefathers. May the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleanse, me cleanse me and my bloodline, and my bloodline. of every, every covenant with, de of, with demons, of every covenant with, demons. with every evil altar that they raised, every evil altar that, Satan using, that Satan is now using as a legal right to delay my destiny, my promotion at work, the rise of my business, in Jesus, name I pray. In Jesus name I pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father now that the blood of Jesus has spoken, spoken for me, I ask you to silence every accusation, I ask you to silence every accusation from the accuser, from the accuser Satan, Satan, in Jesus, name. In Jesus name. I thank you that I'm free to receive the spirit of speed, the spirit of acceleration, the spirit of acceleration. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name. Father, I thank you and I bless you, Father, I thank you and I bless you. for what you're about to do in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Say amen. amen. Now that we have removed the legal rights of Satan before the court of heaven, I want to pray for you right now. So whatever you are, I want, to, I want to get ready. I see part of God coming upon people even as I'm praying. Randa rabakato robosat. Inda rabamande rebekanda rabakato. Marabamande rebemanda rabakando. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, right now I, I release the spirit of Elijah. I release the spirit of Elijah. For the Bible self speaks about the spirit of Elijah in, the, in, in first Kings. Oh God, I release, I release first Kings, the realities. I release the realities, oh God. I release the realities of first Kings 18 and 44 to 45. I release that reality. The Bible said then it comes to pass. The seventh time that he said there is a cloud as a small, as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. 
So he said, go up and so he said, go up and say to Ahab, prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. But Lord, it is written that now it happened in the meantime that the sky became dark with clouds and wind, and there was heavy rain. So Ahab rose and went and went away. I went rode away and went to Jezreel. Went to Jezreel. So uh, so so and so uh, uh, Elijah Lord outran the chariot of Jezebel. He outran the chariot. He outran the chariot of, of Ahab as Ahab went he went 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 went, went down. The Lord Elijah arrived before the chariots of of King Ahab. Lord, right now I release the spirit of speed. Right now, in the name, wherever you are, lift your hands and receive. Some of you will feel your hands begin to tingle, tingles or shake under the anointing fire, begin to come to your hands. God, right now, is releasing the spirit of speed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is the spirit of speed coming upon you like you've never experienced before right now because the evil author of delay has been toppled in Jesus' name. The evil author of delay and the spirit behind it is a broken power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mandaraba Mandi, in the Rabba Kandi, I declare and declare right now that you are receiving by the Holy Ghost. The overthrowing of the evil hotel of delay. I declare that from today, the Lord delivers you. You are no longer a, you are, you are no longer a human attendant to the evil hotel of delay. You shall not feed on delay. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare and decree that concerning every pro every prophecy, every promise God has given you that is from the Holy Ghost that has not yet come to pass, I declare that I release you from delay. I release you from the spirit of delay. I release you from the evil author of delay. Mandaraba mandiribi. Mandaraba mandi. And as an oracle of God, I release on you. I say receive by the spirit of prophecy. Receive right now. Mandaraba mandi. The spirit of speed comes upon you. The spirit of divine acceleration comes upon you. In the name of Jesus, speed comes upon you. In your business, speed comes upon you. Manda raba mandi ribi. Manda raba mandi ribi mandi. Iraba kande. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Manda raba mandi. In the raba mandi. In other words, God will give you one business transaction and will make up for seven years of not having a profit. That is how the spirit of speed works. Manda raba mandi. If you never had children, God will give you triplets because that's how the spirit of speed works when you are barren in the body. Manda raba mandi. In the raba baba. Minda rebiri. Some of you are about to be promoted. Manda rebiri. Five levels all above your pay grade. Manda raba mandi. Because the spirit of speed is coming upon you. The evil author of delay has been vanquished. It has been bound. Manda raba mandi. I raba manda raba. Mandiri birianda. Shakara mandi. I raba baba baba. Receive that anointing. Receive that fire. That cast that's coming upon your hands. That's coming upon you. Come on. Lift those hands and receive the fire. Do like this and feel the fire. Manda raba. I'm feeling, even now right now, I'm feeling fire in my own hands. Fire of God, Mandiri, because I take it even for myself. Mandaraba Mandi, Ikaraba Kandi, Indaraba, the spirit of speed. I say the spirit of speed is coming upon you, saints. The spirit of speed, Mandaraba Kandi, Mandaraba Mandi, Indaraba Baba, Mandaraba. Yes, the spirit of speed. Mandar, if you are feeling fire in your hands or thinking in your hands, I matter or your hands just became numb. A, 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 a just a numbness, a homak karaba. It's not a, a, an uncomfortable numbness, it's a numbness that comes from the Holy Ghost. Man, I want you to type in in the comment section what you are feeling, what's coming upon your hands. But I saw God touching hands as people's hands were raised. Man, I saw God imparting speed. Man, how does a man, how does an ordinary man outrun a chariot of horses? Down the hill. Are you kidding me? Mandaraba. Yeah, Kathy says, I feel tingling. I'm telling you, there's an impartation of speed. Mandaraba. Numbness. Bonny Pellet, I'm telling you, there is an impartation of the spirit of speed. Whether you feel it or not, your spirit is coming upon you. But I know some of you are feeling warmth and tingling in your hands as you raise them to the Lord. Because there is an impartation of speed. Mandaraba. Kando. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Randa Rabakandi. Oh my God, there comes the spirit of speed. 
Mandarabakando, angels of speed, angels of speed are gonna follow you home. Angels of speed are gonna follow you. It's not your making. This is the help of God. God is about to help you. It's got the help of God. It's the help of God. You see, when God helps you, Mark, you have to be humble about it because there'll be nothing around you to explain your success. The, the breakthroughs that are happening, except to say, I stumbled upon the a prophet of God called Dr. Francis Miles, an apostle of God, who was what a word from the Lord at that day under the Kairos anointing. God was destroying delay. And from that day, my God, from that day, look at what God has done. I've gone around some of you. You'll be gone in one year. You'll go to four continents in one year because God is bringing the spirit of speed even in your travel to the nations. Receive this anointing. Receive this anointing. In the rabba kande. In rabba kanda rabba. My God, my God. My God, my God. There's somebody, you are feeling warmth over your womb because the spirit of speed has entered your womb. And you're about to give birth to speed. You're about to give birth to speed. If you're among those people spitting fire, liquid fire in their stomach, I'm telling you, that's an ordination from the Lord that you're about to give birth to speed like never before. In the rabba kande. In the rabba kande. In the monda rabba. Manda rabba kande reboshik. Manda rabba kande. In the rabba kande rebebe. Some of you, the anointing is going to hit your feet. I actually see people running in their houses. Running. You can't stop yourself. You just, you felt, I need to run. Running. Makara, because speed, the speed of speed has come upon your feet, your hands, your stomach. Receive. Manda rabba baba bande rebebebebebe. No more delays, no more postponements. The word of the Lord concerning you must now come to pass. May you celebrate speed at the dinner table this Christmas. May you celebrate the speed of speed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Some of the people you are admiring now, God says, They'll be in your rear of your mirror. There are people you are admiring their successes. God, that you ain't seeing nothing until I'm done with you. In the next couple of months, you people will be like, where did you come from? You just went by past people that were, they were seemingly doing well. Oh, yes, God's going to do it. You'll see them, bara, right, vroom, by, behind you. You look, my God, that's somebody that was ahead of me. They're now behind me. That's what God's going to do. Hear the word of the Lord, somebody. You better believe it. Mandarabakando. Mandarabakando. Mandaraba Manduru Bukata. Mandaraba. There are promotions that have been held back. There are judges who are looking for uh, uh, higher levels of, of, of judgeship. They are released now. They are lawyers. Oh my God. They are employees. Mandaraba Kande. The higher levels, higher levels are released. Mandaraba Kuderebedi and Daraba. Ya Raba Mandaraba Manduru Bukata. Maraba manderebe mandaraba kandaraba. In the raba kandaraba mandaraba kandaraba. Oh, the Lord your God overthrows the evil order of delay. The Lord your God overthrows the evil spirit of delay. Be free, child of God. Be free, child of God. Makaraba mandaraba mandaraba mandorobo sugarab. E raba mandaraba mandorobo yakaraba mandarama sugarab. Rando raba kanduraba kandaraba. E raba manda raba manda raba baba. E ribe manda raba kanda raba ma. Ah raba manda raba kondo robo kinde. It is happening to you, child of God. You're gonna have much to thank God for. You're gonna have much to thank God for. Manda raba manda ribe. What the devil told you is not gonna happen. God is not gonna do. It's a lie. God's about to do now. Manda raba manda raba baba. In the ribe mondo robo sukaraba. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's so been so many, there's been so many confirmations, manifestations of what the Lord God is doing. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. I bless you, Lord.
Wow. People, you're going to begin, wherever you are, begin to thank the Lord. Just begin to clap your, begin to thank the Lord. Clap your hands, all your people. What I'm seeing, God is about to me to show himself strong. How, you are much to celebrate. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I'm telling you. Happy New Year because everything changes. Mandala bakatorobo. My God, what I'm seeing right now, I know I want to pray for the sick. Since this is our, prayer, our, our last prayer marathon, I'm seeing some healings. God wants me to call out. But before I do that, I just want you to celebrate Jesus for the spirit of speed, for the angels of speed, for the angels of speed. The Lord has just unleashed in your life. And as things begin to happen, can you please testify? Can you please, please, please go and send me? Please go to testify at francismiles.com. Go to testify at francismiles.com. Upload your picture. Attach your picture so I can put a face to the testimony. Write what God is doing because God will be doing something. For those of you who can do a selfie, send me a, a selfie on, from your phone. You know, a short selfie just telling us what the Lord has done because of this prayer marathon on approving the evil order of delay. Tell me what began to happen after I finished praying. You can go to francismiles.com for us as us to testify or testify at francismiles.com. Please, you can do that. In Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. I bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Saints, I'm telling you. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Think about this. Jesus only lived 33 years. And it was over. What speed of recovery? 4,000 years of sin and iniquity and the devil being in charge were annihilated, reversed in 33 years. What speed is that? What speed of recovery is that? I know many of you, many of you have, never, have never thought about that. He lived for 33 years and was able to reverse 4,000 years of junk, 4,000 years of the devil moving in the earth, 4,000 years of iniquity. He reversed it so perfectly, he was able to say, it is finished. I got it done. 33 years. Get ready for that type of speed into your life and your destiny. Your business is about skyrocketing. Your career. Ah, speed. Speed. Bless the Lord. I want you to listen to this again and again. If it's over, play it again in your room because I'm telling you something is going to stick. Speed like you've never known. Ah, it's about to locate you. Now, since before I pray for the sick, I, I want to make an appeal not for me, for the widows and the orphans that the Lord has given me the grace to oversee and to, to feed, to educate. As many of you know, Francis Mouse International, we, we are big on our, on our, we are very big on philanthropy, particularly very believing that God, when God says, when when God says is is a you know you know father to the fatherless you know is God in His holy habitation we take that very seriously. So right now the Just Cause Children's Home, which is the foundation that we lead just for uh, and uh, vulnerable children from very bad, real poverty, where their very lives were at risk of being forfeited, their very lives. We are at risk of being forfeited. I want you to pray about sowing an end of year seed. I'm explaining my American audience. My American audience, you are amazing. My European, my Singapore audience is coming. Now we're getting people giving us offering from China. Any of you from around the world, today, I don't ask money or anything for Francis Miles International. I really want to 
have somebody think about this student. Help me put food on the table. You know, it's Christmas. We're even limited in the gifts we can give to them. You know, so much we have been providing. With your help, we can do so much more. You know, why don't you pray about joining me to care for widows and orphans? Because that's what I do. I don't care. Carmel and I don't make one penny, not one penny. They're not on salary at all. And that these children are beginning to have a hope and a future. So based upon the scrolling lower third that you can see, maybe the Lord can use you to do something. The Lord can use you, you, you know, you can go to just cause, you know, hallelujah. You can give by Zell or you can go to the website, just cause international, A-I-N-T-L dot org, Flowers Donate, or you can use Cash App at Dr. Francis Mouse, you know, or you maybe you can send a check in the mail. Because I know in America, we give a lot as Americans. I'm American. We give a lot because of end of year. As a matter of fact, I have people that wait until December before they give everything. Well, if you're one of those people, you don't know where you've been praying, Lord, where am I going to give my end of year giving so that I can turn around and then claim it and begin to file my taxes in January and reduce my tax burden for the year? Maybe you can think about my children, God's children. At Just Cause Foundation International. You know, our children's home is popping. We just finished building them a school. Uh, now the school is going to service the community because the community had few children walking seven miles. Children walking seven miles to go to school. That's going to end because as we're building school for our own vulnerable children and orphans, the community is now benefiting for children who did not know we had to go to school, but because of our school that we helped build, uh, just finished building because of the help we got from many of our, our, our friends who love us on YouTube, but other places, my God, glory, glory, glory to God. Guess what? Things are happening for us. So can you pray about your end of year? Now, for some of you who are coming from other parts of the year, end of you don't understand even what the end of year means. It doesn't even matter. You just give whenever. Or just give just because God told you, you know, that the I didn't know you took care of widows and orphans that way. 42, 42 right now. I feed them, I clothe them, build them a school, rescue them from the slums they were in, and giving them the gift of destiny that I never got. I want to give to somebody what I never got, the gift of destiny. So for many, for, for all of you that want to be participate, thank you. I'm much obliged. But for the Americans who understand what end of year giving in December is like, then I would pray that you, you think of us and this ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Well, saints, listen. Now, what I want to do is just pray for the sick because I've been seeing, since then we're going to close the broadcast because, but I've been feeling that, that since the last, it is the last, um, since it's the last, it is the last, uh, uh, um, Teaching of the year, uh, broadcast marathon of the year. I want to make sure. I want to make sure that I can do pray for the sick. So, Father, I think in the name of the Lord Jesus, somebody with pancreatic, uh, uh, pancreatic. I think it's pancreatic cancer, but it's in these early stages. God, I give you praise for healing that pancreatic cancer right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see somebody. You have been having mucus draining. I mean, just see the sinus. You know, you actually worried. You know, because you are. You've been just snorting. It's been too long, you know, and God heals you right now. I feel, if I were you, I'll just breathe in, I, I breathe in deeply three times and I've seen that the Holy Spirit clears the sinus completely. Father, I give you praise. And if I, amen, praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you. See, we are flowing in the healing ministry already and the, and the, and the system shut down. My computer just shut down for, no, I just, the devil is a liar, but God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if uh, I'm locating you in the what I was praying, please just go ahead and we we be receiving that. I see somebody. I've seen somebody uh, with an ear infection. I mean, and if the ear infection is giving you splitting headaches. God is healing the ear infection right now. 
I see like even past developing, that God is healing you right now. Like it's, I just saw the wind of Holy Spirit blowing from ear to ear. Some just got healed from very severe, severe heat in, ear infection. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise in the name of the Lord Jesus. If I'm locating you by the word of knowledge, just tell me. You have just located me. That's me getting healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody else as well. Somebody. Somebody is, healed, is being healed from rashes, rashes around your neck, skin rashes, painful skin rashes around your neck. You're being healed in Jesus' mother name. Received right now by the anointing of God, what God is doing right now by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mother name, to God be the glory. Wow, receive that. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that. Listen, if you're the one who are being healed, if you're being touched, I want you to uh, see it. Okay, that's it. You know, sometimes I receive healing from my ear. Uh, I see my, I see, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Wow, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And I'm seeing some people have been, God said God is healing people who are, who are from the aftermath, from the aftermath. Those of, those of you who, who had the um, adverse, ad, adverse reaction to the vaccine, you know, God is healing you right now by the Holy Spirit. He's fixing some things for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I thank you for people with thyroid issues. Thyroid issues, thyroid issues are being healed by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. Somebody was involved in a very bad accident and uh, your back has been hurting you so bad that God is healing your back right now. If I, you are beginning to do what I couldn't do before, in Jesus' mighty name, receive that anointing right now in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. To God be the glory. 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 Wow, to God be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. That is it. Wow, Lord, claiming for healing for rush on, my, on, on, on the neck of my mother in Jesus' mighty name. I'm telling somebody's being healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, somebody's liver, liver. Ah, John Dice, whatever John Dice is, somebody's being healed from John Dice of the river. But, I don't know if that's a medical term, but I'm just I'm here getting the spirit. Somebody's being healed from that right now in the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive that anointing. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, thank you, Father, for the healing that's taking place, for the tingling sensation that let us know the Holy Ghost is touching us by his spirit. Wow. Father, I thank you that every spirit of infirmity that's troubling your people, I break it. And as they go into the Christmas break or into Hanukkah, Lord, they will enter the new year healed of God. In Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints, I love you. I so appreciate you. Thank you for allowing me to come. Our next prayer broke a prayer. Marathon is going to be in January. So, I mean, now we are going to, we are going to go we are going on vacation. Uh, um, just to, um, we, my, we have had a much needed break. We, my wife and I, we have been super busy going between continents, handling the crusades. We just need to take a break so that we are fresh and ready to go come uh, the new year. But we'll be back on, uh, uh, we're going to be back when? On December 31st. Once more. December 31st for a New Year's Eve service. For a New Year's Eve service. We'll be having our New Year's Eve service by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. So you are going to be joining us for that amazing, incredible time of the God encounter. Amen. Our New Year's Eve service will be right there with us. By the Spirit of God, you'll be a crossover service you never forget before. That's our next meeting, but it won't be on YouTube. It will be on Zoom. But it's completely free. All you have to do is register, and we'll make sure we remind you, remind you, or before an hour, I mean a couple of hours before, an hour before, so that you can join us for what will be a most anointed face-to-face -face New Year's crossover service where we're going to be delivering God to make 2024 the year of manifesting our priesthood in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints, I so appreciate you. I love you. And... Uh, only Jesus knows how much I appreciate all of you.
followers from all over the world. We are nothing without you. A ministry without people like you can go anywhere. But because I have people like you, I can dance with joy at the gates because I know that I've got people who are radically in love with the Lord, who love me, and love this ministry, and they showed in their prayers, their giving, their connection to the ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, one more time, I remember I told you about the challenge to invite uh, the 1,000 people challenge. This is the 1,000 people challenge. Amen. And I want to ask you, amen, this is the uh, the 1,000 people challenge. I want to ask, I want you to ask your friends to go to YouTube and type at Dr. Francis Miles in search, at Dr. Francis Miles in search, exactly like that, and then subscribe. Just 10 people, when you have missed your quarter of turn, give yourself a, a, give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it. Amen. You'd have fulfilled what you promised. But I want if a thousand people can do that, and will be that will be 10,000 subscribers that, that are going to be happening. That's more than we need to be able to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That will be the FMI Christmas present from all of you that are following the ministry of the man of God. Until next time, this is Dr. Francis Miles saying I love you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting getting the word out about this ministry and for following my, for the following us. Thank you for praying for this ministry, uh, for believing in this ministry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. I can't wait to hear about miracles of speed, 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 speed. In Jesus' name, Amen.